Hey everybody, my name is Kendall. Welcome back for another video of Humankind. We're gonna continue this series. In the last video, we struggled quite a lot uh, to figure out a way uh, to, in order to, for us to not have a, a tough time in Napada, in Kurma, everywhere with the stability. I found a way. It was just simply detaching the outposts and with those outposts creating two uh, uh, other cities so we created up uh, ended up creating three cities in total we got napoli back in here it's now called napoli i guess uh we're working on all these cities they're all getting uh gonna get over uh, the 100 stability in there we've got milano same thing everybody's working well together also gonna do uh technology subdivisions everywhere another thing i did off video boys is i went ahead and quickly built uh, another navy and this time around they're already built up it's all a bunch of cogs so we've got six of them it's gonna be I called it my royal navy as well so it is my royal navy it's the best one I've got uh, I am preparing myself for an eventual war now either it's I don't think it's gonna be the Aztecs the Aztecs are way too powerful they're they're, uh, they're the second strongest after me now I'm obviously well more developed than anybody but if I want to go to war, I might go to war against the Morians once and for all, boys. I, I would be able to crush them easily, easily crush them. Uh, I've got, uh, I'm, I'm way more um, well developed than them in terms of armies. This one's going up. That's good. All right, so next thing we want to work on right here is, so we want to go for science, I guess. Yes, we could go for science. Uh, they are telling me to build one right here. So why not? Let's build one right here. A sci uh, research quarter and let's uh, end the turn right here I'm already with this army I've already built up the army uh, other soldiers as well to connect these two together delights, people's opinion of their leaders will either be very good or very incoherent uh, we'll see how it goes I guess so uh, we've got cultural uh, culture chain uh, chosen Population gain. So another uh, culture basically uh, this uh, became uh, went into a different era. Morians forgave a grievance, oppressing my people. Really, I'm oppressing them for some reason. Okay, all right. So let's uh, let's move my army, this army, back. We're gonna have to connect these two together eventually. Let's go uh, move in into the Tal boys. There we go. Uh, for Roma right here, it needs to build something uh, The next thing the one thing it's uh, It needs to build is the science, but the problem with the science is I don't have any uh, places Oh, uh, I have places now. They want me to build it. Okay Let's build it right there then there we go. So we're building the science right here boys uh, Next thing as well is we're uh, quickly going here now. Do I want to go towards? Uh, at a war uh, right away against these guys not really. I want to first off clear out these zones and then we'll worry. I mean, I, I, mean, I want to build up these districts, right? Other outposts and, and such. I need to build those. So we're going to get those outposts done and ready for Roma. Roma only has one outpost right now. We need two more. We'll continue to build right now. So we're going to regroup before going to war, boys. We don't want to go to war right away. Also over here. All right, so we've got my army. You are just gonna connect. So I'm guessing you can go here, and with this one, we're just gonna connect uh, together. So we're gonna connect these two armies together, and it's gonna create an army of six. It should at least. There we go. Perfect. So now my army is fully done, and an apada right here needs to build something. It can only build this or a, a garrison. And I think uh, we're definitely going to go for the... Uh, well, we definitely want to build my armies over here. If I build some. And also, um, I guess... The only thing we can do is Corman Squadron. So we'll just uh, be working on the Corman Squadron, boys. Which they want us to build it right here. Okay. That uh, is good enough. Do we have anything in Kerman we need to build? No, everything's being built already over here. Uh, in Nepali... Napoli seems to be doing fine. Don't want games. I don't want to be working on games anymore, boys. I think we're just simply going to be working on the Commerce Quarter and all that good stuff. It's going out towards the 34 mark now. We've got stability problems seems like in Napoli again. 
we should be doing fine but i'm not too sure why we're struggling again uh what we do uh, what we need most is not science it's science like always we need uh, to build science so uh, i guess i could build a research quarter it's gonna give us stability so let's just quickly build one of those you are kind of a weaker army and we don't need you to explore these lands i don't care about the aztecs as much anymore we uh with you we're just gonna bring him back and eventually bring him back towards the war effort and stuff like that in the west we could always explore with him the uh the north which i think i might be tempted to do we'll just send him back towards the seas and we're actually gonna build uh, now that i think about it we're gonna build uh army an army right here we're gonna build two more soldiers so yeah we need uh two knights so we're gonna do that we're gonna build two knights and we're gonna build them right here boys so uh, spawn them right here so build uh two knights which is minus four of populace it's gonna help out as well with the stability a little bit so these two knights are gonna join up eventually with uh, my other army and now we're gonna just really quick uh build build the uh the, the the quarter there we go the common quarter that is done uh not uh will you accept this offer okay so let's see what this is the aztecs have an offer for us i have something trade everything yeah sure let's uh let's do that treaty why not don't have any problem with that we can also buy a bunch of uh, let let's buy their silk i'm gonna buy everyone's resources we also have lead I definitely want to buy your lead, buddy. There we go. So we're buy buying every single one of their resources. We're going to buy their horse resources as well. There we go. Copper. Buy some copper, boys. And iron as well. We're going to buy everything from them. There we go. Make them a good... Uh, a lot, uh, we're getting a lot of luxuries from uh, from that, boys. Just for, just for that. Okay, next up. This is uh, idle army. So we got two armies not moving right now. I'm going to go into the main sea. And with them, I'm going to be able to uh, move up right here. I'm pretty sure there's going to be another continent right here. So I want to uncover the new lands and possibly uh, two other population, right? Or two other civilization. We want to do that. Let's uh, end the turn really quick. All right. So we're in the next turn. Roma gains some population like always. So, um... Wait, we're, we're being besieged by this army right here. Not good. At least we're well protected because we got the walls and everything. I need to actually uh, go help them out really quick. I need to move towards there. Same thing for you. you need to move towards the sea, my guy. There we go. So we're going to have to do that, uh, that battle for sure. We're going to have to protect ourselves. Let's do that really quick. Let's just protect ourselves. Uh, Toledo. It's going down towards the 23%. What? Why? Why is it going down that much? Is it because we're being sieged or something? Okay, let me just open the battle. Seems like we got an advantage, as you can see right here. So, uh, besieged. Let's see what this is all about. So, we can either surrender, which I'm obviously not going to do. Or we can uh, do uh, a sortie, which means we're leaving the, the fourth. The fort and we've got like peasants that are protecting my cities obviously so these are the guys i'm protecting my i'm protected by, uh, with you endure endure the siege at the cost of some stability i can't i i need like i don't have any stability so i'm gonna do a sort sea boys and uh, we're gonna attack them okay so we're doing the manual battle we're gonna we need to deploy them so let's deploy these guys Right before that, uh, right before that, we're gonna deploy two of them right here. One beside, uh, one behind the walls, and another one um, behind the wall, uh, uh, behind the uh, the wall. Uh, another one right here, I guess. So, these guys are in the forest. They're protected by the forest. This guy's behind the wall, so that's perfect. We're also uh, we're well protected, boys. So way uh, way protected. We're gonna be able to defeat these guys easily. They're underdeveloped so let's just uh end the deployment really quick and let's start attacking oh they've got a lot of armies okay let's start doing our thing boys let's start doing our thing uh and we've got yeah we're well developed compared to them right, let's do it boys i've got my one hit kill mod equipped we're gonna uh, kill them in one shot as well 
We're still gonna lose health, so I'm not doing unlimited health. I'm only doing the uh, unlimited uh, uh, f uh, health equipped or so, uh, 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 I'm just doing the one uh, one uh, hit kill. So they can still deal damage to us. It's just it's gonna automatically kill them every time they touch us. So um, let's uh, move up. We're gonna attack these guys. Form up right here. Boom! There we go. Destroying this army right here. I was gonna move eventually with my uh, regular army in order to uh, to get them right in order to attack these guys. But I guess I'm not gonna have to because my peasants are gonna do the work for me. Okay. Next up, you're going up against me. He's going to attack me. And he's going to die instantly, probably. Oh, he attacked me. Oh, he's attacking me from afar. That's very smart, actually. That's the smartest move I've seen from the AI. All right, let me move you. Let me kill you off and finish you off instantly. And that is a smart move. You don't want to go melee to me with me. Uh, melee with me because I'm a one-hit kill. So, all right, there we go. Victory right there with protected Toledo. The defense of Toledo has succeeded, boys. And that is fantastic. Let me quickly build that. So my stability goes up. We're going to need to build more of those things. So science, I think, is a, a thing that we need to build. We need to work on science. Let's quickly build uh, that as well. Okay, good. So Toledo has been protected, boys. We got Roma as well, which has more populace. Still working on the research quarters and all that good stuff. All right, there we go. So we successfully defended this place. We need to, with this army, it's connected now. We just need to move. We're following the roads, boys. We're, we need to move towards these guys and uh, stop them eventually. So there's that. And this guy, I'm just going to move him back. Yeah, we're going to move these guys back right here. Eventually connect these, uh, all, the, all of them together. And same thing for you. I, I guess we're going to go towards the port. We're going to connect these two via the seas. The overseas. And for this Royal Navy. We're about to... Well, before that. I'm going to see if everything's okay right here. 67. It's pretty much uh, evened out. So that's okay. I guess we don't uh, have to worry too much about that. Let me uh, go towards this land right here. We're going to try and uncover more. We can go into the deep sea with the cogs, boys. These are uh, uh, actual fleets that can actually... Ships that can actually go into deep sea. Which is a really good thing. Something that uh, we really needed for a long time. But this guy keeps exploring. I think we got everybody. We've got Milano, I believe. Is doing fine. It's uh, yeah, Milano is doing really good. So don't need to worry about that. What about, uh, what about you, Nepali? You need to build something. You're struggling in terms of of uh, stability, so we need to work on that for you. Work on that stability, please. Let me quickly build that. We're just going to quickly build those Quamarin Squadron, boys. And now it's going up again. All right, good. It's going up again, so that means we can start working on the science again. Once again. There we go. Boom, just like that. And uh, next up, so we have an, uh, another event waiting for us to be uncovered. We, we need uh, two more military units and it would give us an extra star, boys. Interesting. All right. An artifact of war. Fighting far beyond the homeland, your soldiers drew on their th deepest reserves of strength to de vanquish their opponents. Exhausted afterwards, they rested in a sheltered valley where one of their number made a startling discovery. Nested in the hillside, long buried, your soldier came across an ancient holy site within, with, within which stood a towering steel uh, or stele inscribed with hundred, hundreds of lines of a strange script. Freezes on the uh, surrounding walls, the piet blasphemy scenes, okay? It suggests the stele holds valuable knowledge. What is your will? Interesting. So come in, come in dear. Uh, so that would be celebrating my plus 10 stability on all cities would be great boys plus uh, 50 faith no I need to commandeer I'm gonna commandeer it boys there it is yeah we're commandeering uh, uh, commandeering it because we need it uh, a lot we really need it Nepali how many okay it has already all of the districts yeah so we don't need any cities here so that's what I was thinking about as we can see, we've got Toledo gained a, a bunch of population. Everybody's gaining population, basically. World League completed. Okay. 
and we've got Roma and stuff like that. Aztecs now uh, are friendly to me. Uh, there is another thing we could do. I mean, I, I forgot about the fact that we can build as well wonders, right? We can build wonders. That is a thing we can do. Uh, and since Napada, everybody else seems to be struggling. Napada is going back up. But uh, Napoli, right, is struggling a little bit. Like, uh, I need to find a city. If I have a city that is struggling with uh, the stability, I could always build a wonder. But I feel like we need we would need a wonder, uh, like... Um, Someplace around here because remember properly we have the Colossus right here We need to build a wonder over here Definitely, I think in Rome would be the perfect place to build uh, our next wonder boys obviously um, Show sure, uh, a claim so we need to claim a wonder first. We need to claim one. I mean the Statue of Liberty would be great <laughs> I think it would be an interesting choice uh, for Rome itself, but we could claim it. Let's claim it. Let's uh, claim the Statue of Liberty. With that, we're going to build him. Uh, now, we got the Statue of Liberty. Do we want to build it? We want to kind of build it right here. That would be a good I uh, idea. Uh, 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 otherwise, I also have the other cities that do need, like, would need a wonder over here. But I feel like we have... Uh, we need uh, we would need a, a wonder over here somewhere so let me quickly build the research quarter and we're gonna start working on on that wonder boys let's start working on that does it need to be in the city itself oh, okay oh yeah it needs to be on sea of course on land uh on shores it needs to be on shores let me build it right there right there boys that's where it's gonna be at now it's gonna take a really really long time to build it because it is Rome after all and, uh, and everything, but uh, we can definitely work on it uh, as slowly but surely. Uh, we've got this guy. We're just going to move. Okay, we're going to move that army together. And I'm going to move this army. We're gonna, they're going to connect in the next turn. Okay, so yeah, we're slowly going to work on the Statue of Liberty. It's going to take a long time to do that. But uh, we're working on it, boys. We're working on it. Uh, over time, we're just gonna focus all of our efforts on to if we do common squadron because we're basically if we're doing common squadron means it means we're basically wasting our we don't have anything else to build right so there we go boom 24 turns for the Statue of Liberty now to be completed and last but not least over here you're not gonna work on that you're gonna work on the statue which means 22 turns. Now we're at 22 turns for the statue, boys. So uh, it's 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 still a lot, a lot of turns to wait for it, but it's ne it's better than nothing. It's definitely better than nothing. Uh, my ro royal navy is losing health, I guess. I guess it can't go into the deep sea for some reason. Keep exploring, buddy. There's bound to be lands waiting for us to be uncovered right here uh, over there. As we see my army right here. It's about to enter. Yeah, it's about to have a battle with these guys. So let's enter the let's enter the battle, boys. We're gonna do a manual battle, of course. We're gonna attack these guys. All right, there we go. So we just gotta deploy them really quick. They're all deployed pretty well, uh, except for I'm actually gonna switch these guys together. And uh, yeah, I think that's good. I think I'm uh, that's good enough. Like that, just like that. I've got my two knights over here. All right, good. Deploy. And with these guys, we're just going to start... Uh, okay, so we need to move a little bit. We need to move. We're going to move you right here. My knights, we're, go we're just going to move them around really quick. We're just going to move around. There we go. And circle them. And my knights are just going to attack them from behind right here. There we go. Attack them. One shot, kill them. There we go. Perfect. And I want my archers to do something, right? So, uh, to be active. So... You, uh, they can't shoot. Okay, they, they can't shoot, so that's fine. We're just gonna move. We're gonna stay active with this guy. Can't do anything with these. Okay, so we're just gonna end the turn really quick. Or end the round. We're gonna let them attack us. That's gonna be a fatal mistake. They're attacking my knight. And they're done for. So there we go. There's a the win, boys. We dealt with them. That was my rebellion from uh, the city. And uh, just like that... We um, got the game the extra stars. So perfect. So Napada's rebellion has ended. 
about damn time. Took a long time, but uh, we managed to do it uh, finally. The next turn we're gonna have a uh, guild and stuff that we're gonna be able to build. Okay. Also, we've got an event right here. Uh, idle armies, though. We do have armies that are, are waiting to uh, to connect with other uh, other uh, parts, right? Yes, they, these two or need to connect together. There we go. You you go ahead and do that. An artifact of war number two. So this the second part of what happened earlier on. So months have passed since the stell was brought back to the capital with great fanfare. Uh, now the artifact sits in the in an empire repository, gathering dust. Its script still indecipherable. Uh, hearing of its fate, two parties have approached your court. Both seeking to take control of its future. The first is a young scholar who claims with proper funding that uh, she will be able to crack the code and learn the great truths. The second is a curator who wishes to make the stell the centerpiece of a great exhibition celebrating the Inspire's might. What is your desire? The study would give us uh, more science and more, uh, what, less money, but that's okay. Money, I don't care. I have plenty. Exhibit would give us, uh, would be patriotic. I want uh, to study it. I want to study it and understand it, boy. So we're definitely going to do that. Gives us the science as well. All right. Everything's good, boys. Everything uh, is perfect for us. Let's uh, wait for the next turn and see what's going to happen here. All right. So we're in the next turn. We uh, got the guilds now, which means we can build some sabotar, uh, sabotar boys. Sabotar can uh, uh, do exactly what it means. They can sabotage the... Uh, uh, other cities and stuff and other districts, which is going to be great. Uh, community markets, all that good stuff. Uh, next research we're going to go for. Either alchemy or friend still. We're going to go for alchemy. There we go. And uh, we obviously want to do that. Convert it. Boom. We're going to convert this place. All right. And we're going to connect these two together. There we go. These two armies are going to be connected. It's done. And uh, now we can start moving them... Yeah, we're going to start moving them towards this uh, pot of land right here. There we go. We'll move them. It's, uh, it's going to take 16 turns now. So it takes less and less turn because the industry is going up. It's not going to take as long as it says it, it will. We've got a forest now. So we can actually build forests in order to prevent popular pollution to happen. Don't know if that's really that important, but uh, we'll see. So we're, we're going to build that commodity market first. We're going to restart working on this uh, Statue of Liber Liber uh, Liberty. We're just going to... I want to uh, really work on... Uh, I, I want to build the, all these commodity markets. And then we're going to continue to work on the Statue of Liberty. Look at that. Statue of Liberty is going to be done a uh, lot sooner than uh, you guys... Uh, that we probably thought it would be. Our industry, got to keep that in mind, keeps going up over time as well. So uh, we are going to need some stability. Uh, stability is something that is going to be much needed for us. Uh, it, it only goes, it doesn't go up. So we're going to need some stability. Let's build something right there. There we go. So that uh, ups our stability. Perfect. We got the Statue of Liberty. We're working on it right here. In the poly, we need to do the same thing. But first, you need to build the comedy market, my guy. And there we go. Keep working on that. Now the Sabotar does get uh it takes minus one population and uh it's not doesn't have a lot of strength in terms of uh a strength battle strength it, it is able to do a, a like it has a good uh it has a good thing going on for him so i'm i'm really excited for it i really want to build one of those napada is it uh did it do the um it did the commodity thing okay it, it did that okay good Last but not least, Milano. Milano, you need to uh, to get your commodity market. There we go. And uh, we're just going to keep focusing on the Statue of Liberty. Uh, we will work on the... As soon as I'm done with Statue of Liberty, I will do, do the Sabotage. Where is a place that I would need to build it? I feel like maybe Rome? But no, Toledo. Let's build it in Toledo. Yeah. Let's get a, a, a Sabotage, boys. Let's just get a sabotar really quick. We're just going to quickly purchase it. There we go. And now we're just going to... There we go. We're just going to do uh, Statue of Liberty. 
Now the saboteur, where is it at? Oh, the saboteur is over here because my um, my units are landing here. Interesting. Uh, next up, we got a lot of adult armies. With this one, we just destroyed the rebel army, which means that we can now move on towards this place. So we're gonna do just that. Let's start moving, boys. We're gonna uh, follow follow the road, uh, follow the roads really quick with uh, this fleet. Just gonna keep moving right here, keep exploring. We are exploring all the shores right here that we can. And we've got my Royal Navy as well, which is losing rapidly a lot of health. Is there anything waiting for me right here? Anything that we could uncover? Is there any lands? I mean, these tiles are... It says it's a bunch of tiles ripe for the taking, but I can't take those because it's... Uh, it's just land, it's just sea. I can't do anything with that. So is there anything actually that I can actually do, you know? Well, let's see really quick. We got another event. Is that the same thing? Number three. Yes, it is. So let's see what happens with that. This tale has revealed its secret. After carefully, uh, uh, after careful diligent study, the young scholar made a breakthrough when another fragment of the same script was discovered in a scroll containing a known ancient knowledge uh, language. Astonishingly, as well as casting light on the culture, the script reveals Eterato, unknown uh, mathematical uh, theorem with applications in logistics and engineering. Oh, we got a new medical, uh, a ma a math theorem, boys. Uh, we've got enlightenment because of that. There we go. That gives us plus 10 industry. Well, there we go, boys. Always go for the knowledge. You always want to go for the knowledge. It can only help you out in the long term. All right, Milano gained some population, all that good stuff. New grievance available. Uh, ask for reparations for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know why it's beeping over here. I don't know why that uh, why it's doing that. Okay, let me uh, just keep moving. We've got Kerma, which it's going up, so that's fine. Milano is doing fine as well. Okay. I have my saboteur, which I want to move it uh, towards the uh, this place. So it's following the uh, the road system. We're gonna move it. I'm gonna start saboting, uh, doing exactly what it means uh, to be saboting. I'm, I'm gonna sabotage a bunch of uh, of their cities and stuff, and see what happens when I do that. And next up, we've got my fleet right here i'm kind of intrigued i don't see anything here i'm gonna move towards these shores right here let's see if there's anything i can see anything at all we can't i can't uncover anything we're in the deep seas keep losing health not good boys we're immune right now right right yeah we are immune to religion tolerance and stuff like that okay so we're pretty much done here there's not a whole lot we can do i did have a grievance Oppressing my people. So I got a, uh, I got a grievance. So you have concerns. So the man to give Mosh. Oh, I could literally. Oh, I could do, give them an ultimatum they, that they, so that they give me the, uh, their city. I'm going to keep it until they decide to accept. They're probably going to accept over time. They're way over underpowered compared to me. You do not want to go to war with me, my girl. You do not want to go to war. Just give me your territory, all right? Just give me your territory and let be let it be done with. They've got 69 war support. Uh, I'm getting more war support by the minute because of that. They've got more war support than me, though. That's interesting. I mean, we're still there is still incident towards me. We're still kind of a little bit friendly, but the the fact of the matter is is we're close to a war here. It's inevitable, boys. We are going to have a war against them eventually. This is why I built up my armies and everything. So uh, I'm going to leave it for right now. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.